Mm, October 22nd, 2023. Welcome back to the Red Solo Cup Lab. And where's my Red Solo Cup? So here they are. They're in there. So yeah, I've got some uh, special components. Anyways, I made another batch last night. This is my 10, 21, 23 batch of uh, red mix. You see some little hairs hanging out of it right there. The little roots, a lot of root in this stuff. Tried sifting it all out. There's a little triangle piece I made. Pretty hard. Set up pretty good. Still, I don't know. It's not. Uh, it's it's not cured yet. It's not uh, growing any silica in there. But it did set up pretty good. I made a little print in there with the uh, bottom of the cup. kind of uh, flatten the edges out. I'm going to try to make some scoop marks in there. I don't know if we're going to be able to see with the uh, light the way it is. It was brighter out. Um, but yeah, this is my, I don't know, fourth mix or so. Put the iron oxide in there. This is one of my first mixes here. This one, again, really hard. Very, very hard. Um, this one here stayed wetter and got crunched up a little or it's slightly different than that one. I don't know. I'm working on it. Uh, I made this batch a couple days ago. This one's set up pretty good. It's still a little sticky on top. Oh, by the way, do not do any of this without wearing gloves and, uh, and or safety eye safety, eye protection, and stuff like that, and do it outside. This is, These chemicals are kind of strong, and they will really damage your skin and your hands. If you uh, handle these, even these ones that are a couple days old, you can see it's kind of wet and sticky looking. Uh, the sodium silicate is said to be a uh, adhesive for boxes and labels and stuff like that, but once you start mixing the, uh, the lye in there, uh, the sodium hydroxide, you're getting a uh, different situation. That one kind of looks really dry on the inside where it was pressed against. But these are only about five days old. <clears throat> they're really, they're pretty darn hard. Um, not super, super hard. And these have some perlite. All those white specks in there are perlite. So that's pretty hollow. I think these two got fused together. Yeah, they did. Those two got stuck together. This little last piece here has got link in it as well. But uh, that was a light aluminum mix. This last one's got more aluma in it. Way more um, uh, azomite. It's a... Would, would this be a... Do, 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 five parts of the shell mix... Four parts of azomite. That's why it's so fine, and that helps. Uh, that helps makes it a little more solid, a little more um, uh, less porous, less gritty, and light, kind of less foamy, make a little denser. It gives it a little more density. There's that's what you're looking for, and you can see these things kind of mold. You could stick them all together and make those pillow face blocks pretty easily. Anywho, uh, that's, we're progressing. I'm gonna get some uh, granite sand and uh, aggregate and try mixing up another batch, but we're getting there, it's getting pretty good. Didn't uh, expand any, very uh, stable. Almost looks like that would pop out of there. Oh, it will. So, hmm, yeah, I don't know how we want to dry that if we want to. But yeah, it takes a pretty good little mold there. You can almost read the numbers in the side of that. Yeah, you can. Ten millimeter. Five millimeter. Now you got a hole there in the side. 
but that may eventually fill in with the silica crystals because this is it's a living organism kind of in a way it's like uh, dough bread dough you've got to put the yeast in there it's got to start it's got to propagate propagate uh, you got to put your sourdough in there and get that cooking but yeah that's set up pretty pretty solid in 12 less than 12 hours and it's still a little bit gushy you know i mean you could stick a knife right through that you carve that off it did seem to be a little bit more workable too when it was when it was fresh in here because it's got a little more um like sauce a little more liquid in it anyways very interesting stuff working working very nice oh shout out paul cook yes when one huh. That's where I got started in a lot of this. Um, uh, Paul, I'd like to see how you make your granite. And uh, I think I'm pretty close. I just got to get some better aggregate sand. Cut. 